we're going to be going over five strategies. Now, what I want to impress upon everybody, okay, is how important. Can anybody tell me what the most, the three most important activities are in your business? Let's see what those are. Three most important activities in your business. Can anybody guess? Type it in the chat. Yes, Steven, way to go, bud. Yes, prospecting. That's one of them. It comes down to, guys, it's PPF, okay? It's prospecting, it's presenting, and it's following up. Have you guys ever heard that thing called like the 80-20 rule? Okay. Um, for those of you that aren't aware, they call it the Pareto principle. And Pareto, uh, I think it was like an Italian farmer. And what he realized was 20% of his seeds gave 80% of the crop yield. Okay. So he came up with this principle. He said, wait a minute. And, and the way you can kind of adapt this to your business is like, okay, if 20% of your effort equals 80% of your results, wouldn't it make sense to like do more of that 20% guys? Okay. So I'm, I'm going to share with you guys what the, what the, what the, so if you, if you really think about it, you want to break it down. If 20% equals 80% of your output, 20% effort, 80% output, what, what, what is it safe to say that those, those are, are how many X, how many twenties are there in 80, right? Type it in the chat. All right. 4x, guys, right? Does that make sense? So if you do one of these, you get four of these over here. So if you 20% of your efforts equals 80% of your output, right? So the way you can do it in your business, guys, is if you did more prospecting, presenting, and following up. Those are the three things that if you just did more of. Yes, networking, sure, great. Yes, getting that flyer looking perfect, sure. Making your website look nice, I guess social media posts, blah, blah, blah. If you just did more prospecting, more presenting, and more following up, you won't know what to do with your business. Does that make sense? You would have so much business generated, you wouldn't know what to do with it, okay? My personal experience, I learned how to take listings, right? Within six months of starting it, I had to hire an admin because I had like 12 or 13 listings six months in, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. I don't know how to handle all the phone calls, all the emails, all the inquiries coming from the listings. So my point to you guys is the more you prospect, present, and follow up, you're going to forex your, your efforts, and then you're going to not you're going to have so much business, you're not going to know what to do with it, and then we'll solve that problem for you at that point. But the first thing we've got to do is prospect, present, and follow up. So I promise you guys today that we would start with how to um, five extra business. Now, I want to show you guys, I'm going to do a little drawing if that's okay with you. All right, so I'm going to pull up my whiteboard. Okay, so this is my, what we call our funnel, all right? Can anybody tell me what goes in the top of your funnel? What's the first thing that you do, folks, okay, in order to get clients? You make calls, am I right? All right, so we make calls. So I'm going to go ahead and blow this up nice and large for you. Let's see, let's go big. Let's go 36. There we go. We're going to make calls. All right. Now, if things go well, if we got the right, right message or we, we got the right phone number. Okay. What's that call going to turn into? Okay. That call is going into type it in the chat guys. What does a call turn into? What do we call it? Steven, what do you think, bud? What would that turn into? It's going to turn into a contact, right? Steven was the one that knew prospecting was the most important thing. He's onto something there. All right. So guess what, guys? We're going to go from calls to contact. Okay. Now, so you're, you're calling people, you're hoping to get people on the phone, right? Then the next thing is you're going to get contacts. Okay, cool. All right. What's the, what's the next thing that's going to happen? After you contact someone, right? There we go. Janet, killing it. Yes. Listing appointment. Okay. That sounds like a 39-year career veteran in, in, in the house, right? Am I right, uh, um, Janet? Yep. Okay, so guess what? You have listing appointments. We call them meetings. All right, that's good. All right, cool. So we're going to go from there to there to there. All right, whoopsie. Now, if all you guys did was just run this play, I don't care how many followers you have on Instagram. I don't care how many people you have in your Facebook group. I don't care how many networking events you go to. I don't care, right? right? You, 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 you get the gist of what I'm saying? 
if you all you did was run the play of prospecting, presenting, and following up, folks, you would not know what to do with the business that you had, okay? Then what, what do meetings turn into, folks? Meetings hopefully turn into... Dun, dun, dun. Listings, right? Boom. Okay. And then what do listings hopefully turn into? Listings sold. All right. So. Boom. And I'm usually a pretty good spell. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So. Our calls turn into contacts. Our contacts then turn into meetings. Our meetings turn into listings and listings turn into listings sold. Does that make sense for everybody so far? Okay, cool. So let's talk about the five ways to double your business. Five ways to 2x, okay? Folks, what's the most obvious way to double your business, right? Do you guys all know who Brad Lee is, right? Um, I saw one of his emails and some lady said, you know, I started my own business and um, and I, I'm only making $60,000. I need to make $100,000 because I have bills and yada, yada, yada. He's like, lady, I'm going to show you how to double your business real quick. And he said, whatever you're doing, however many calls, however many reach outs, however many meetings, however... Just do two times that, okay? Well, guess what? It's not a sexy answer, folks, but it is effective, okay? Double your effort, okay? So what do I, what do I mean by that? You can, instead of working an eight-hour day, you can work a 16-hour day. That's not really that fun. That's probably not why you came here to learn, right? So that's the most obvious one, duh, okay? But... This thing is a funnel. Do we all agree on that? All right. So let me ask you this. Okay. If we did all things being equal. Okay. Cause, cause here's the thing, you know, your calls to your contacts are going to convert at X percentage. You know, we'd like to see between 12 and 18%. Okay. And then your contacts to meetings are going to convert at a certain percentage. Maybe it's maybe hopefully around 20%, 18, 20%, 25, if you're pretty good, you know, 30 if you're real good, right? Your meetings are going to turn into listings at a certain percentage. Maybe it's in the beginning, 15%, maybe 20 if you get the better you get. And your listings are going to convert into listings sold at, you know, X because maybe you don't price it well. Maybe you price it well. Maybe your, your market's slower, whatever. The point is all of these layers, okay, of the pie are going to of the funnel are, are going to uh, convert at a certain amount. So does it stand to reason that if we did two times the calls, okay, that you would get twice as many contacts, twice as many meetings, twice as many listings, and twice as many listing souls. Does that make sense, guys? Okay, type 2X in the chat if you're with me, okay? So if you don't want to work 16 hours a day instead of the... Uh, instead of the uh, eight that you're working, okay, let's just say you did 2X your calls, right? Because if you 2X your calls, you 2X your contacts, 2X your meetings, 2X your listings, right? Just by changing that one variable. So still working the same eight hours, but instead of you know just, just gritting down and, and, and grinding it out, you're like, let me use that Pareto principle. Let me use that 80-20. Because how long, guys, how, how long do you think it would make, type it in the chat, how long do you think it would take you to make 50 dials a day? Ballpark, Ty, type it in the chat. I'm curious. Curious to see what you guys think. Mm -hmm. Future says about an hour. Yeah. You see Janet says an hour. Yeah. Kathy says three hours. Yeah. If it takes you three hours to make 50 dials, that means you didn't do your research before. Um, you got to batch your research, but that's something we teach you how to do. Okay, cool. All right, so the the point, okay, uh, PS says three. Yeah, if, if, if anything more than 90 minutes, guys, to, to make 50 dials means you haven't batched your research or you're getting into really long conversations. Mar write this down, folks. Okay, this is some, some inside ninja stuff. You don't need more than 90 seconds to book an appointment. Anything more than that, you're talking yourself out of it. Period, end of story, okay? You don't need to know their grandchildren's names to meet a stranger at a place to talk about the sale of their property, Okay. 
And he, most people, they think the longer that they're on, we're not selling with our personalities. We're selling to business people. And business people do business for business reasons, okay? Um, yeah, it's nice to be to have rapport. Well, it's not saying be rude, but at the same time, guys, the thing that's going to move the needle, can you help them, all right? So, so one thing we can do is we can 2X our calls. Okay, yeah, that's good. I'm sure a lot of you probably could have figured that out on your own. But what if, oh, now how... Do we do that? What would we need to do? Okay. Would we need to, uh, to perhaps reach out to people that maybe, uh, or, or I should say, should, should we maybe time block our day a little bit better? Right. If we time blocked our day and, and instead of just calling whenever we can, if we just blocked out twice the amount of time, we could get twice the amount of calls in. Is that fair? T type yes in the chat. If that makes sense. Thanks, Janet. I just, I got your message. All right. Would that make sense? If we blocked out the time, we'd be able to do it. Okay. Now, here's the important part, guys. So let, let's just say we don't have the time to do twice as many calls. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this level of the funnel and we're going to do try to get two times the amount of contacts, okay? Now, what determines the amount of people we can get in contact with, right? Number one, if you doubled your dials, you'll probably get in, in, in a hold of double the amount of people. But what shy of doing that, right? Does it make sense that if we had better quality data that we'd be able to, to get a hold of twice as many people, okay? So what's one thing we could do, okay? You could 2X your calls, okay? And you can get cleaner data. Does that make sense why you would get a hold of more people? Possibly two, two times the amount of people. Okay, cool. Love it. Love it. That's another way of doing it. Clean your data up. All right. The way you clean your data up is you reach out to as many people as you can. The people that you that you can't get a hold of, you re-research them. You figure out different ways of going about it. We show you how to do that in the program. Okay. Twice as many meetings. Guys, what determines whether or not you get a listing appointment? What do you think, guys? What do you think determines whether or not you get a listing appointment? Type it in the chat. Come on. Come on, guys. Your finger's falling asleep. What do you think that, what do you think that might be? All right? To get twice as many meetings. Yeah, exactly, Shuchi. Yes. Your, it, to twice as many meetings, it's, it's going to be the quality of your scripts, how you present yourself on the phone. Okay? So if you are reaching out to people... Okay, and you are giving, delivering the right message to the right person and at the right time, guess what? You're going to have something they want. They're going to meet with you, okay? But it, you need to be able to articulate that. So, better scripts, okay, when dialing, all right? Love it, love it. Okay, cool. So, that's another way of doubling your business. All pretty straightforward. What if we wanted to get twice as many listings? What do you think that looks like, guys? What do you think twice as many listings? What do you think we would need to take twice as many listings? Do you think maybe, just maybe, a better presentation? Okay. You know the fastest way to learn a good presentation? Find someone else that did it, okay, and learn why it worked. You don't have to take someone's word for word, but it, when you understand the why, when you understand the psychology behind why a good presentation works, then you could adapt it to your own style. But remember this, folks, there's three things you need in a good presentation. You need to ask the right questions to reveal motivation. You need to make the right statements so they know that you know what you're talking about. And step three is you need to bring the right data so that you're not convincing them because of your opinion, you're showing third-party impartial data, okay? Mr. and Mrs. Seller, you know, a lot of agents might come in here and tell you stories, but you know what? The numbers, the numbers will never lie to you. And the data suggests that. My research suggests that. The market shows that. You guys see how those are third-party impartial data, okay? Whatever's coming out of your mouth, that's commission breath. They all know that you are just like every other real estate agent and all you want is a commission. But, but CoStar is going to tell us the truth. You with me, guys? You see, yeah, I'm being facetious. You get it? You picking up what I'm putting down here? All right, cool. So better presentation, okay? And then guys, you know, if, if we want to take it one step further, let's talk about how to get more listings sold, better 
pricing. And you can you could you could go with marketing, but for the most part, there's like four places you need to put a property. The thing that's going to get a property sold, it's going to be the better pricing. Okay. So better valuation skills. Okay. So I just gave you six ways of improving your business. Do literally doubling your business. Because folks, that's the way a funnel works. If you get two, twice as many calls, you're going to get twice as many contacts, twice as many contacts, twice as many meetings. But I showed you how to individually, I showed you other than doubling your effort, like nobody wants to like work twice as much. Your, your wife or husband would probably divorce you, right? So we don't want to do that. But what if we did twice as many calls, everything else works. Twice as many contacts, we, everything else doubles. Twice as many meetings, everything else doubles. Twice as many listings, everything else doubles. Twice as many listings sold. Does it, is it fair to say that if you did each one of those five things, that any one of them would double your business? Okay. Now, who here wants the good news? Type me in the chat. Who here wants the good news? Okay. There we go. Yes. Yes. Okay. What it comes down to is this, guys. You don't need to do extra calls. You don't need to do extra contacts, your meetings, your listings, your listings sold. Okay. What if I told you guys that all you had to do, well, guys, what's, what's 100 divided by five? Type that in the chat for me, please. All right, what's 100 divided by five? Yeah, thanks, Yuchi, right? What if you got 20% better? <laughs> uh, what if you made 20% more calls, okay? And then... What would happen if you got a hold of 20% more contacts and maybe you had 20% more meetings? So you got 20% uh, cleaner data. And what if, just what if you had a better presentation? You got 20% more listings. And what if you improved at your pricing, your valuation 20%? Guys, what does that add up to? 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20. Type that in the chat for me, please. Right? Okay. Yeah, exactly, Shuchi. So here's the thing. Here's what I want you guys to understand. You don't need to grit and, and, and grind and, and everything. You can, and it works. That's one way of doing it. But you can push really hard on the pull door, and it's never going to open for you. It isn't until you pull it with like two fingers that the door opens for you. You with me, guys? Okay? So... I just showed you six different ways to double your business. Actually, seven. Because the seventh way is get 20% more, more dials in and then get 20% better research and then 20% better on the phone and 20% better presentation and 20% better pricing, right? How many of you type me in the chat believe that you could get 20% better at all those things in order to double your business in the next 12 months. Type me in the chat. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. And that's the point of tonight's um, uh, uh, presentation. Uh, any one of these things individually will work, but like if you want to do it as easily and as gracefully as possible, get a little bit better at all these things. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to throw you a curveball. Imagine, okay, the 80-20 the principle. Remember we talked about 80-20 principle, right? There's another 80-20 principle that exists in real estate, okay? And it goes like this. 80% <laughs> of your uh, headache clients, I, I should say 80% of your headaches come from 20% of your clients. How many of you agree? Type 80 in the chat. If you realize that 20% of your clients make 80% of the headaches and the sleepless nights and the 10 p.m. texts, and the Sunday morning emails and all that stuff. Yeah, Janet's with me. She knows. Janet's been in the business almost 40 years. She knows exactly what I'm talking about, right? So the point I want to make to you guys is, what if? It would be nice to double your business. Everybody wants to double their business. But what if you were able to get good enough so you can choose who you do business with? So you can choose who you wind up um taking on as a client rather than you being like Oliver Twist. Oh man, please have some more porridge, right? What if you interviewed them to see if you want to work with them instead of begging them to work with you? Do you guys see type of 100 in the chat? If you can see how that's a complete mind flip. 
Can you imagine? You'd probably wind up taking more business. You probably take more clients and you'll probably be able to have more sleep at night and not have to take time away from your family because you're dealing with jerk clients that take up your time because they have no respect for you. Okay. I got news for you folks. There's a lot of people out there that think that we're about a, a notch or two above or below used car salespeople. They do not fundamentally respect it. I'm, I'm dead serious. I, I remember reading that. I'm like, oh my God, out of 40 vocations, we're like 38 and used car salesman's 40. And in another one, I saw that we were below, okay? The point I want you to understand is not everyone is going to treat us with respect, okay? You need to look in that mirror every single day. The fastest way to get clients to respect you is to, for you to choose clients that you can work well with instead of just begging for whatever comes your way. Take clients. And then the only way you do that is by having a repeatable business system. Do you think if you 2X the amount of people you're in front of, you can be twice as picky, twice as choosy? Type 2X in the, in the chat, guys, if you're with me, right? If you 2X your business, could you be twice as picky? The answer is yes. It's a resounding yes. All right, guys? So that's what I'm encouraging you to do. Not only make more money, but live a better quality life. Live a life where you don't have to take every piece of business that comes your way. You don't have to beg and plead. You get to choose to. Because how many of you, show of hands, guys, right? How many of you want to choose the people you do business with? Because you know there are people out there that will treat you like a doormat if you let them, okay? Those days are over. We don't have to do that stuff. You know why? Because good brokers get to choose their clients. Good agents get to choose their clients. Does that make sense, everybody? Okay? Hope you're all well, guys. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.